NCAM is real-time camera tracking without using any markers on the set, which means that the, the camera can be taken outdoors or tracked indoors with a minimum of setup time. The system will work with any camera, Sony's, Aries, Red's, whatever, Grass Valley cameras, and consists of a number of components. It has a hardware component, which is the tracking bar at the front of the camera. These cameras are tracking the environment. They're looking for optical markers in the environment, and along with a, a series of sensors within the bar, they are what are being used to generate our 3D track. We're fully supporting the zoom and focus controls as well. We take lens data directly from the digital lenses and we return this down to a server where we are then rendering the environment and the, the computer graphics directly with the virtual camera. So the, the aim of the system is to provide in-context graphics, to provide real-time graphics in camera. So now I'm going to start NCAM from scratch. It takes a few seconds to start the application, as you see now. And I'm now going to initialize the hardware elements of the system. This takes about 10 seconds. So we initialize the video card there. And now we're initializing the cameras. We reset the camera bar. And now we're ready to begin tracking. Now you can see on this screen here, we have a number of candidate points from our stereo tracking cameras. But we have no points that are gathered to track into. So I have to initialize the tracking like that. That's now done, but I have to give a ground reference plane. And that now gives me a lock between the real world and the physical world. So we can see now that my camera is here and the point cloud that we've already generated. So we're already tracking our object into the scene, our, our cube here, is already tracking in real time. The next point is to produce our, our object into the system. Today we're going to use a robot and I'm going to use Autodesk Motion Builder to supply this object. So I'll just send this across and animate this in the system. Now I'll pick up the camera and we can move around the environment. We've generated a whole series of points in space where we've been tracking. So as, as soon as we're moving the camera, we're learning new points and improving the solution to end up with a very stable and robust track without using any markers, without any setup time, indoors and outdoors. We've developed the system for feature films to enable previs on set. So the idea was you had your pre-visualization and yet when you came to shoot live on set, how did you see that? Could you see that in the blue screen or green screen? Could you see your creatures in, in space? How did you frame for them? So to give the director and the DOP the chance to, to correctly visualize the previs, what we wanted to do is make it live in camera. So that's the basis of NCAM, why we produce the tracking system and we would composite in the previs elements to enable the director to, to really visualize. Beyond that, the tracking technology is useful for broadcasters, who it's particularly sports broadcasters, who are trying to use graphics either within the studio or straps or statistics that they want to appear in the studio or pitch side. So creating a virtual studio within a live environment, for example, at a football match.